Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video uh, where we are going to review the Fall 2022 Collector's Chest Boxes featuring Palkia and Dialga up front with the promo cards Hisuian Growlithe, Hisuian Voltorb, and a Hisuian Sneasel. We have one, two, three to open up so we can get a good idea of what's inside. Uh, let's get into it. I have never opened these up. Uh, obviously, we opened up a ton of um, the Spring 2022, but this is the first Fall 2022 boxes we will be opening. They just came out, so I don't know what's in them either. I imagine we're going to open them up and see our promo cards with a coin. Yep, there we go. Our three cards. Ooh, Dialga this time. We had Palkia the first time. Oh, they got Silver Tempest in here. Nice. That tells you how new it is. I mean, Silver Tempest has only been out for like two weeks. Maybe three now. Um, they have the the bad card holders in this. You got to be very careful. I find it best to kind of bend them out. Like, if you bend it just right, you can get them out without bending the cards. So, let me sleeve these up real quick. Our three promos, Hisuian Sneasel, Hisuian Growlithe, Fancy Boy Growlithe, and a Hisuian Voltorb. Out of the three, I think Hisuian Voltorb is probably my favorite. I love the wooden design. I think that's super cool. Give you a better look. Hisuian Sneasel with the, the uh, like, Galaxy Hollow, which I like way more than the hollows that we got in Sword and Shield era. Like... I think everyone's about done with these. I think there's not many people that are still going crazy when they pull the hundredth one of those. But these are different, they're cool. Gives you a different design. It'll let you know they're unique because these are numbered cards. They're not uh, SWSH cards, they're Black Star promo cards. So that's kind of how you know like, hey, this card's special. Wow, look at the plastic damage right here. You guys see that, look at that hate those uh you know they did it perfect with the spring boxes i don't know what happened the spring boxes they put them in cardboard and they kind of just slid right out all right we'll save these packs put them on the side for a second Ooh, look at these stickers palky and dialga palky and dialga hisuian sneezel hisuian voltor pursuing growlith only four sheets this time okay Usually there's more in different sizes and whatnot, but that's what you get. And then we have so many of these. I love these though. These little notebooks are so cool. I have a box somewhere. I'll put that with these. Put this on the side for now. And then another mini portfolio. Save that. This is uh, maybe something we'll give away in the future. All right, and then we take this out. And we have ourselves a lunch box. We have a million of them at this point. Uh, I guess I should start putting my stickers and everything in this one. Keep everything organized. Or try to. My organization right now is a mess. There's packs all over the ground covering my feet. Oh, code card. Don't worry, I got more for the comments. So, Alright, first look at what packs we get. Astro Radiance. Astro Radiance. Fusion Strike and Silver Tempest with a Lugia and a Regilecki. So save that for last. We'll do Astro Radiance second and Fusion Strike will be last. Can we get some luck? MSRP I believe for these is $25. I hope that's right. I'm pretty sure it's about 25 bucks. Five packs. So, you know, Oh, and the code cards are in backwards. What do you expect from Fusion Strike? Ladies and gentlemen, Fusion Strike. Iconic. We love it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, psychic. Fusion Strike. I actually uh, opened some packs yesterday. I got two black cards with no hits. <laughs> or two black code cards. Simi Sage. Some of them even look fake with Fusion Strike. I don't know what the hell is going on. Galarian Duracoma. Shelmet. Shinx. Eevee. Panport. Like, doesn't that look dark? Like, too dark? Glossifer. Luxio. And Oricoro. Tell me this doesn't look like a fake card, bro. I know it's real because it's like a sealed Pokemon product that I got in a big box store, but... Like, why they look like that? I will sacrifice you, Glossifer. Thank you for your sacrifice. See that black ink? I mean, there's other ways to tell, but it's usually, you know, if you see the 
the incline. Usually a good a good start to find out if your cards are real or not. I mean, if you only have one card, then obviously don't do that. But it's usually a good start to find out if the cards in your pack are real or not. You know, if you sacrifice a card and see a black line, you know, okay, we're on the right track. So, interesting right here, right? This is the card out of Astro Radiance that our promo card comes from. So that's kind of cool that we got to see these together. Hasui and Voltorb Hollow, Hasui and Voltorb Non Hollow. Both commons, card number two out of 198. So if you ever wonder, they come from Astro Radiance. So, code card is out. Fire. Another fighting, okay. Wrapping uh, Hasui and Growlithe with the fighting. Hippodowan, got a dark patch. Uh, Magneton, there's our Voltor. Rufflet, Ponita, Rowlet, Bronzor, Glade, and a Miss Magius. Miss Magius, rare, non hollow. All right, last chance for Astro Radiance. Some good cards to get. Would love to get that Machop. That is uh, what I am currently chasing out of Astro Radiance. Code card is out. Psychic. Electric. Always forget about that. I, I have turns where I forget about specific energies. And electric has not been on top of my mind lately. We have Gardenia's Bigger. Temple of Sanoa. Roxanne. Hisui and Growlithe. Okay. So I'm going to say these are all probably from Astro Radiance. There's a Hisui and Growlithe. Card number 70 out of 189. All these are common also, which I think is even cooler because it's a common with a hollow, right? So here's our hollow promo. And then here's our original card, Hisui and Growlithe. Oh, and a Hisui and Voltorb. Nice. Rufflet. Ponita. Rowlet. Oh my God. Look at that card. Starmie. Where'd you come from, bro? And a Reggie Rock. Nice. Now that's how we want to start off an Astro Radiance pack opening. I actually forgot, and you know, I know that Astro Radiance obviously has a trainer gallery, but um, I've been opening a lot of packs that don't have trainer galleries the past couple days, and I forgot that uh, this was something we could even get. So that is awesome. A nice, beautiful Starmie V textured card with Misty in the background. A little off center, but what are you gonna do, huh? First hit of the opening. Where can I put you? Right here? Okay. Okay, Silver Tempest, very anticipated set. We have a decent amount of pulls so far. We have two Lugia Vs, one alt art with our Skunk Tank. Um, I would love to pull an alt art um, unknown. That's my chase card, alt art unknown. We have all the Radiance. Um, some nice trainer gallery cards. Please. Okay. Don't ask me how I knew that. Candice Galail. Unidentified fossil. A Venonat. Ralts. Spinda. Pikachu. Noivat. Radiant Alakazam. And a Miss Magius. To miss Megus Radiant Alakazam, best radiant card in the set by far. Beautiful radiant card, like Alakazam. What a legend! Two spoons, two spoons, only a spoonful. Only hit so far coming from the reverse. No rare hits, only reverses here. We love that extra slot, that's for sure. Saved us. Gotten us out of many sticky situations, that extra slot. All right, Lugia pack art. <sighs> Metal. Fighting. Emergency Jelly. Behem. Candace. Petalio. Pikachu. Growlithe. Clink. Whalmer. Litten. And a Chestnut V. Chestnut V. Out of... Oh. 
Silver Tempest, Chestnut V. So, our first box, we got our three promo cards and three hits. So, let's put these over here. Three promos, three hits, including our beautiful Starmie up top. Um, five code cards, Ugh, four whites and a black. God, that's rough. Leave a comment down below, and uh, that's how you get those. I'll just send them to you. We got a big old box of, of uh, code cards now. I have a whole ETB full of them, so do not be scared to ask. I need to give them away. I'm running out of room to hold them. Next thing you know, I'm going to have a whole Charizard UPC case full of them. All right, box number two. All right, let's get our packs out of the way. Remember, last time we had one Fusion Strike, two Astro Radiance, and two Silver Tempest. Decent lineup. Um, not going to complain about that. All right, we're going to leave this one empty. Put it on the side. Sorry, let me just deconstruct all of this real quick. Try to stay somewhat organized around here because if I didn't, it would be bad. We open up way too much product to not have some level of organization. If I don't do it now, it'll get out of control. Believe me, it has a couple times. And only in this month it's gotten out of control a couple times. And when it does, it's bad. I mean, daily openings, we open a lot of packs. It doesn't take long. It only takes a day of not cleaning and not organizing to have like a whole situation. Hisuian Sneasel. Hisuian Voltorb. And a Hisuian Growlithe. Um, tell me which box. It's not too late for two or three to win. You know, all we got is a Radiant, a uh, Black Border Trainer Gallery card, and a V card. It's anybody's game still. Oop. Gave away a second code card, but that's okay, because they're for you anyways. Code card is out. All right. So, okay, are we going to have the same lineup? One Fusion Strike. Okay. Two Astro Radiance. Okay, and two Silver Tempest. Yes, sir. Let's go the same order. We got Boltown this time. Um, we have Salaby Full Art. We have Espeon Full Art. I need a Gengar Full Art. We definitely need a Gengar Full Art. We open up ETBs. We open up three Fusion Strike ETBs during ETB week. Oh my God, was it bad? Oh, was it bad? Electric, fire, can we get a little fire? That'd be cool. Marshop, tell me these don't look fake, bro. Luxio, like what happened with Evolving Skies? Mantine, Jinx, Skarmory, Seawaddle, Panpour. Verizian, Verizian Rare, and another Oricorio. And another Oricorio, that's okay. These are really the only packs we care about at this point. Astro Radiance and Silver Tempest. Let's see what we can do, baby. Last time, Astro Radiance gifted us that beautiful Starmie V. What, what a nice card to get. Water, electric. Okay, we have Cape Jaw Bog, a Togetic, speaking of Misty, Spicy Seasoned Curry, Bronzer, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot, Cricketot, Stanler, Stanler, and a Beedrill, Beedrill V. Um, I need the alt art in my life. The Beedrill Altar is one of the coolest cards I have seen in a pretty good amount of time. All the way up really until the gold, um, gold alt art uh, V-Star Universe cards. Look at that. Card number one is a V. That's pretty cool. All right, we need a Black Border or better Trainer Gallery card and at least one Radiant to tie up this box with the first one. Is that too much to ask? I don't know, let's find out. Second and last pack of Astro Radiance. We have Fighting. Oh, nice. We have a little whitening up here. Uh-oh, and that's the rare. We have an Azelf, a Switch Cart, Yuxi, <clears throat> Nicket, a Swinub, Petaleo, Bergmite, Hippotopus, a Canceling Clone, you've been canceled. And a Vespaquin, Vespaquin Hollow Non-Rare. 
So nothing that time, but that's okay. We still have a Reggie Drago and a Lugia from Silver Tempest. Um, you know, uh, the fact that these packs are in here, once again, just a testament to how uh, new these fall 2022 boxes are. Silver Tempest only has been out since uh, November 11th, November 12th. I know I'm posting this in December, but you know, you gotta imagine they made these pack, these got them on the stores, got them on the shelves and they've been sold. So not bad. Like these are pretty new, you know? Metal, fire, oh mm, God, and a dinged up. Very dinged up, up top, rare card. You guys see it? Glale, Candace, Croconock, Rufflet, a smug little Vulpix. We got a Sleepy Drowsy, Growlithe, not the Hisuian variety, a Misdrevious, a male stick. Tell me that doesn't look like a rare art. A male stick, and a Zygarde. Zygarde, non hollow in the rare. All right, Lugia, it's up to you. We've only pulled a Beedrill V out of this whole box so far. And they say that those uh, V cards are about one in every four, one in every five boxes. So we are on track, but that's usually not the luck that we get. Lately it has been, but I don't know, man. We usually do better than that. V Star, obviously. Haunch Crow, Raichu. Ferrothorn, Swirlix, Marine, Ndidi, Baltoy, Sunkern, Chinchu, and an Eridos. Come on. Just a hollow. All right. So, box number one, definitely still in the lead. A hollow is, you know, Radiance better than a hollow, but we'll say like those will cancel each other out. So we're still, box number one is still in a, a pretty decent lead, to be honest. Uh, that Starmie card is worth more than a regular V, that's for sure. It's probably worth, I'm gonna say Black Border is at least two points. So it's like three and a half points for the first box. Second box, just a point and a half. Let's hope box number three doesn't come in last, that's for sure. As long as it doesn't come in last, we'll be okay. What do you guys think? Say yes, say no. That's okay, if you don't think it's gonna win, you know, speak your truth, right? All right. Try to organize this real quick. Trying to hurry, get all this stuff out. Just dump it. Man, they really, really make sure that plastic doesn't just come out, huh? Unnecessarily secured, that's for sure. Um, um, all right, put this stuff away. Be a little behind the scenes action. Again, a sneak peek. A, a sneak listen, I suppose, would be the correct terminology, okay? Okay, let's pull our packs out, put them on the side. Code card has correctly been removed this time. So leave a comment and you'll get that. Our third Dialga coin. And let's get these out. Like I said, best way to get these out is just kind of pull them and let them drop. Usually it works. Oh God, here we go. If you go any other way, you're gonna for sure damage them. This is probably, in my amateur experience, um, probably the best, cleanest way to get them out. Yeah, they're always gonna just be damaged in those. I don't know why in fall of 2022. They, they literally figured it out in the spring 2022 boxes. I don't know why they would go back to this. But I'm hoping that I at least get one clean, undamaged one per, eat. like if I get one, uh, one Growlithe out of all three, one Voltorb out of all three, and one Sneasel out of all three that aren't like messed up, I'll be happy. At least I'll have all three, you know what I mean? All right, we had two Fusion Strike, two Silver Tempest, and two Astro Radiance. Fusion Strike with Mew this time, Astro Radiance with Dialga, Astro Radiance with Hisuian Decidui, and no Lupia this time, just a Reggie Lucky and an Alolan Vulpix. Let's go. Last chance to pull an alt art. 
um, from Fusion Strike. I I had high hopes, man. I thought like we stuck, we kicked off ETB week. God, these code cards are in backwards on every Fusion Strike pack. Very frustrating. I had high hopes starting ETB week with Fusion Strike. Um, it just didn't work out. I thought I was getting a sign because I pulled that Espeon alt art and then I pulled that Celebi alt art like a week after. I thought I was getting a sign. Apparently I wasn't. Electric. Fire! We have a fair well bell. Can we get one hit out of Fusion Strike? Nine tails. A Mandibuzz. A Korogunk. A Mankey. A Grubin. A Basculin. A Bunnery. More Peko. See, that doesn't even look like a reverse. And a Butterfree. Ooh, with a hollow bleed. Nice. You see the bleed? It's called a hollow bleed because they printed it too thin. They printed the layer on top of the hollow too thin and it causes the hollow foil to bleed through. Just the quality that we're used to with Fusion Strike. Also, a uh, white code card. So, interesting. Very thick. Jesus Christ, this card is thick. Like, it's, it's noticeably thick. I have a lot of issues with Fusion Strike right now. I'm not happy about it at all. Opening up our Hisuian Decidui. Code card is out. Leaf Electric. We have a Dartrix, a Drifloon, Dark Patch, Cricketot, Psyduck, Petalil, Stanler, oh, Bergmite, a Reverse Regiice, and a Regirock. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. That is actually kind of cool. I want a set that has all the Regis. It's like full arts or VMAXs. So I can have a binder and just set Regi Ice, Regi Rock, Regi Lucky, Regi Drago, like Regi Gigas, like all of them down. Just one big binder page full of like full art Regis. Or do what they did in V-Star Universe actually. Uh, and the Pikachu thing where it's like nine cards come together and you have to have the whole set. It makes like a big picture, like the golden alt art cards too. Uh, do something like that and have it be the Regis. That would be dope. And like you can do one for the legendary bird trio and the legendary dog trio. That would actually be a really cool idea. Pokemon, I know you're watching. I know you're one of my 12 subscribers. So come on. Add it in, you know. Leaf. Nice. Last chance for Astro Radiance of the opening. This is our third box. Gape Jaw Bog. Togi uh <laughs> Togetic. Spicy Season Curry. Oshawat. Hoot hoot. Cricketot. Stanler. Oh. Hisuian Quillfish. Hisuian Overquill. And a Hisuian Lilligant. Ooh, don't look at them legs. You're gonna get me in trouble, Hisuian Lilligant. She got legs, boy, she got legs. God, I'm sitting in my chair just quivering. So, two half point cards. Remember, it cannot win with just hollows. Um, so, first place has three and a half points. So, two and a half points is needed for a win. A V-Star or a V-Max will tie it. An Alt Art will take the win no matter what. A uh, Secret Rare, Gold Card, Rainbow Card will take the win. Um, two V-Cards is not enough at this point. V-Star Marker and backwards. So Reggie Drago, was it? I think it was a... I'm pretty sure this was Reggie Drago. I hope I'm right. Uh, Nine Tails. Almost said Hisuian. Haunchcrow. Hypno. Sandile. Swirlix. Marnie. And DD. Ball toy. Give us one good Silver Tempest hit, please. All right. Radiant Serena. And a Verizion. Not good, like I mentioned. But Radiant Serena, our second Radiant, all we're missing now is the Radiant Gerarchy, and 
we've pulled the most Radiant Serenas out of all of them. And we've gotten a couple of Radiant Alakazams. We've only gotten one Radiant Jirachi so far out of all of our Silver Tempest packs. I've been trying to take a break from it because I'm not trying to bore you guys. I know it's what's hot right now, but I don't know, man. You can only open so many Silver Tempest packs in a row, right? All right, Alone Volpix was the pack art. Uh, I don't know. What's Alone Volpix? It's like water. Electric. We have a Galail. Unidentified Fossil. A North. A Zubat. Algium. Fungus. Sundigust, Relicanth, a Jinx, and a Zira Aura, Zira Aura Rare. So, first pack did it. Thank God for that uh, Starmie. Thank God for that Starmie. Third pack, all right, let's take out all the promos because we already know what those are. So, we only got two Hollows and a Radiant out of the third box. Out of our second box, we only got one Hollow and a Beedrill B. And our first box, the victorious one. We got a Chestnut V, a Radiant Alakazam, and a beautiful Starmie V. Tell me that's not an alt art. Tell me that shouldn't be, have been an alt art. Look at that, that is amazing. With Misty in the back, just having a pool, just having a pool day, you know? Just a day at the pool. But those are our hits. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is our official review, our first opening of the fall 2020 two collector's chests. Tell me what you thought down below. We have code cards again today. What'd we get? We messed up and gave two away. So we have 16 code cards for today. Astro Radiance, Fusion Strike, and Silver Tempest. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you again tomorrow.